Hi Capricorn, good morning. Narai here. I'm going to do a quick reading this morning for you guys. Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn? Messages for the sign of Capricorn, please. And I forgot my full fill order. It never fails. I don't know why I do this every read. It's like I don't remember. It's like I hear something that's like you forgot. So, I hope you guys are well. Thank you everyone, everyone, everyone for yesterday. You know who you are. I appreciate you all. All right, so Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn? What messages or guidance, quick message or guidance do we have for Capricorn? Because my readings are so long. That's probably why I don't do readings consistently because my readings are so long. I just don't have time for everything. I'm working on it though. Messages for Capricorn. Messages or guidance for the sign of Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? This does not have to do with love unless you feel it's necessary. Well, I do have the Hermit card, which is introspection. It's looking inward. This is being on a spiritual path. This is inner guidance and withdrawal. Again, I'm always pointing it out for this particular card, Saturn, Capricorn is our planet. This is the planet of lessons. This is a reminder that there is a lesson for you to learn. And until you learn the lesson, you're going to keep going through the same thing. If this is being in a relationship with somebody that mistreats you, you will keep having that situation presented to you with different bodies if you do not change how you do things. I saw a comment um, this morning or last night and the person was talking about the type of people in their life for so many years, like they were just not good people. But it's like, okay, you can blame those people, but you have to ask yourself, why are you allowing these people? What are you possibly doing to attract these people? Or what is it that you're not doing that is allowing these people to come into your lives? And this is why I talk about boundaries. Because if you're a very giving person, you're going to probably attract people that are takers. And if you don't stand up for yourself and have boundaries there, then people are going to try to take advantage of you. And they will take advantage of you until you stop it. Next, I have breakthrough, the truth, new insights. Um... This has to do with new ideas and mental clarity. This could be ideas for something creative, but this could be in regards to this particular situation that I was just talking about where you like are honest with yourself and you look at yourself and you see how you can do things differently. For some of you, this might be an idea that you can put into action instead of just thinking about it. It's like think, uh, be about it and don't just think about it. Yes, that is exactly what it is because I pull the, the full card. It's like this is an opportunity for a new beginning. Do something different, Capricorn. Take a leap of faith. With the moon, the moon always indicates that something is unknown. So this is letting you know that you don't have to have all the answers now. Just start. Too many times we're like, well, I'll just start when, or I'll just start if. No, just start. Take a, have a leaf, have faith. Take that jump. Get out of your comfort zone. And be excited about it. Messages for Capricorn. Quick messages for Capricorn. Quick message for Capricorn. Mm. Yeah. 
Yes. What I was saying earlier, it's like when people come in your life, this is the emperor, you have to be someone that commands respect and makes them respect you. You do that by setting boundaries. I feel like you shouldn't have to set I feel like you shouldn't have to make people respect you, that people should just automatically respect you until they, you give them a reason not to. But if you're not setting boundaries, there's no reason to. Like, I don't know. It's like people treat you how you allow. And so with this emperor energy, you're taking control of the situation and you're like, okay, I'm in this energy. If you're going to be in my life, I need you to treat me like this because if not then you're going to have to go this is somebody structured this is masculine energy some of us need to get out of that feminine energy and get into that masculine energy at times um, but ladies this doesn't mean to stay in the masculine energy um, this is ha having discipline and taking control and also being focused doing that and setting boundaries and standing firm will prevent things like this from happening. This It will prevent things like heartbreak because what it means is that you will be strong enough to know when to walk away from somebody, not stay trying to prove your love to someone. A person knows if you love them. This whole dynamic of going back and forth and a person requiring another person to prove that they love them by chasing them or by putting them through stuff to make them hurt and see if they're going to stay. I don't know what type of trauma or dysfunctional family those individuals come from that feel the need to do that, to feel like somebody loves them, but that's not normal. That doesn't sound healthy. That's why I'm saying it's not normal. So... Standing your ground and having boundaries and knowing when to let people go will stop you from being in situations like this to where you're heartbroken, devastated, traumatized, depressed, feeling broke, just broken. Sorry. That was the excitement of the reading. <laughs> Messages for Capricorn. Yes, it prevents things like this from happening. And for some of the people that you have allowed in your lives, you standing up for yourself and cutting them off will be a tower moment for them. It will be a sudden change for them. Sometimes when we cut people out of our lives, we create the tower moment for ourselves. Sometimes, and also this, with the broken heart, the three of swords. Sometimes we have to break our own heart and leave somebody that we truly love in order to save ourselves. I'm not willing to drown to save somebody that number one cannot swim and number two does not want to swim. I'm not drowning. I will throw you a life preserve and if you can't make it, Deuces. In love, I'm not going through the rigmarole. You guys need to not go through the rigmarole. So this means you have to know when to leave someone behind. I love this card. This is a this is <laughs> this is the six of swords. This is accepting the lessons. What was the first card? The higher, the higher front, what am I saying? It was the hermit. You start with the hermit. We are ending with this. Leaving things behind. Okay, we're not ending with this. Leaving things behind. Leaving people and situations behind because they are not healthy for you. Why? 
and accepting the lesson. Accepting the lesson because they're toxic and they're unhealthy and they hold you back and they stunt your growth and they cause you to suffer. So this is good because what this means Capricorn is that hopefully if you're not you will that you guys are in hermit mode or some of you need to be in hermit mode possibly that there's new beginnings or a breakthrough some new ideas or perspectives coming to mind um, also the full energy you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith doing something you've never done before Standing or sitting in the emperor energy where you are commanding respect and you're making sure that people actually respect you and one way of doing that is setting boundaries and holding them accountable and making sure they adhere to those. That will prevent you from being in a situation where you are heartbroken by another person. Now it may mean that you create heartbreak in a tower moment for yourself but this is to save yourself. And I can assure you, breaking your own heart is an easier pill to swallow than just staying and letting someone else do it because you're doing it to save yourself. A lot of times the other person doesn't care about saving you, they just care about what they want. This may in some cases create a tower moment for your, yourself and that person, especially if you stand up to them and nobody's ever stood up to them before. So what Spirit wants you to do is go through the change in the Six of Swords energy and know when to leave things and people and situations behind that are not serving you well and learn the lesson, accept that lesson for what it is. Move on to calmer waters because ain't nobody got time for that drama. And some of you are mistake. I'm going to say this, some of you are mistaking drama for exciting in a person. Some of you are ex accepting and mistaking exciting, or excuse me, drama, a person being really dramatic and problematic for exciting. There's all these people that are considered the nice guy and the nice girl are boring. Sometimes people will do things if you ask them to, like, let's go out, let's go do this. Now, if you have somebody that never wants to do anything, I understand. Or if you meet someone that never wants to do anything, I understand. But if you are with somebody that you think is exciting and all they do is bring you stress, you really need to sit and think and be positive, positively honest with yourself, like full transparency. Be, be positive in how you think of the situation as far as If this is a negative situation in my life, I know there's something to be learned from it. So if you have a person in your life and you are just like so going through the, the, the emotions with them constantly, ask yourself, is this excitement really exciting or is this excitement drama? And if it's drama, why do I feel like I need it in my life? It's probably because it's a toxic behavior. <laughs> there might be some toxicity in yourself that is causing you to want to stay in a situation or dynamic like this. It could be childhood issues. I should know I've had them. So this is a toxic situation and you have to know that you don't have to stay in it and that you deserve so much better. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.